Hey everybody, Joe here and just with a quick tip for you today on fixing color and we're going to do it in Photoshop because sometimes Lightroom just doesn't give you enough flexibility or the tools to make it easy to figure out. And for example, I've got this image here. Well, if I go into the develop module, I can start messing with the color temperature and all that and I can come down to color grading which I'm not a fan of, but color grading is sort of a kind of a hit. To me, it's a hit or miss kind of thing where you can drag around each of the color things. But I also find it very, what's the word? Um, I don't know. You're just kind of playing and just shooting from the hip. I like to be a little bit more scientific about it and something that I can really see what's going on. So what I'm going to do is send this image into Photoshop, and that's just Command or Control E or Photo edit in Photoshop. You see the command E there. So let's, let's send this image into Photoshop. Okay, and here it is. Move this out of the way. And what I'm after is to use a color balance adjustment layer. So let's make this image bigger. I'm going to hit command zero, which will fill the screen with it. And we're going to do a color balance adjustment layer right here under the little split circle. So color balance. So what are the colors that are, are, are kind of off to me? I think maybe the rocks are. I'm not sure about the foliage. The water we can deal with separately. But let's go through a procedure that will make this a lot easier. So where do I want this? Oh, I'll, you know, I'm going to... No, I'm just going to leave it right here. We'll just leave it right here. It shows me everything else. And it starts you off with the mid-tones. And what I'm going to do is just start moving the slider. Start with the cyan red. I'm going to do a lot of cyan. A lot of red, they both look awful, so that means they need less. So let's add a little bit of red, a little bit of cyan. Now we go, when we go down to little bits, you can see that in most parts of it, I think that the cyan looks a little better. I thought the rocks were a little bit too red in here. Let's bring it down the other way. And you know what? Now the rocks are looking more neutral for me, so that's good. So let's do the same thing, green, magenta. A little bit of green, a little bit of magenta. In this case, it needs a little bit of magenta. And then yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue. Now, I understand that some of this is somewhat subjective. It's flavoring to taste. It's kind of the mood you want. But I want to add a little bit more kind of a sunny light feel to this. So I think maybe just a smidge of yellow. Now, and by the way, also notice I have preserved luminosity uh, checked. I don't want it to get lighter or darker as we do this. So let's do the same thing for highlights. Red, cyan, red, cyan. It obviously needs cyan in this case. Not a lot, but it needs about, oh, I'll say that much. Magenta green definitely doesn't need green. Little magenta does benefit the image. All right, so we'll do that. And then blue yellow now yellow does add warmth so let's go ahead and do that we may t decide to take it out in parts as well and then lastly shadows same thing we'll add red no that's terrible even if i go a lot of cyan it doesn't look as bad as the red which is an indicator that that's what it needs so let's go to cyan and once again you can see as we do that that the rocks are getting a little bit cooler in the image green magenta both of them are pretty terrible. <laughs> uh, let's see. A little bit. Let's see. Just a little green, little magenta, little green, magenta. little bit of green. Just a smidge. And then lastly, yellow, blue. Yellow, blue, yellow, blue. I'm going to ignore the water as I do this. Let's look at yellow. Blue just makes everything go way too dark. So I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to that. And now let's go ahead and close this. And we're going to click on the eyeball over here and see the before and after. And it's a subtle adjustment. But it does take away a little bit of the cast in the rocks that was bothering me. While we're here, and the colors did change the overall uh, kind of tonal range of the image, let's go to Levels. And let's bring up the midtones. And we do that actually by dragging the center one to the left. So let's bring that up. And I think that looks a little bit better. And while we're at it, oh, let's add a little bit more saturation into here as well. We'll add some saturation. Oh, yeah, that looks better. Because those greens really were kind of glowing this day. All right. So let's close on that. So, again, if we turn the, the color balance on and off, 
did it change the water enough that I'm concerned about it? Actually, if anything, it made it a little more neutral. The question is, do you want more blue in there? And then there's other considerations like cropping, etc. But that's not what we're after. So what we just did was we went from from here to here. It's a subtle adjustment, but it's a fine tuning thing. Would I crop off the top of this somewhat? Yeah, I will, and I'll put a vignette in it. But we'll do that back in Lightroom. Let's take a look at one more image and go through this same procedure. Okay, this is another one where I kind of like the color, but is it slightly off? And I'm having trouble figuring out if it is where it's off and in what direction. So let's do this process again. Color balance, same thing. Add a bunch of red, a bunch of cyan. Cyan actually looks a little less awful, which again is an indicator that it needs some cyan. And if you look at the rocks down here, they just got a lot better already. All right, so green, magenta, green magenta. Magenta looks a lot better, so let's add some magenta to that. Blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. Just a little bit, of, maybe a little bit of blue. Let's just put that in. And now again, we'll move on to highlights. Red, cyan, red, cyan, red, cyan. And it's a very fine difference. I'll just add a little cyan to keep the rocks from getting a little too warm. Green. Magenta, green, magenta, a little bit of magenta. And then yellow, blue, yellow, blue. Yellow in this case does open things up. It makes a little more like the sun is out, so we'll go with that. And then shadows, red, cyan, red, cyan. Yeah, it needs some cyan in the shadows, so we'll do that. And green, magenta, green, magenta, green, magenta. You know, I don't like what either of them do, so when that's the case, Actually, maybe a little magenta, just a smidge. If, if you don't feel any of them are, is an improvement, that means leave the slider alone. Blue, yellow, blue, yellow. Uh, blue makes it really too dark. Yellow makes it too yellow. This is one that we're just going to leave alone. So let's take a look and see what this has done. And again, I'm looking at the background. It's made the surrounding image somewhat darker. I do like the color, though, but what we're going to do is bring up the levels. So let's do the levels again. Let's drag the center slider to the left to brighten things up. Yeah, that's good. Just about that much. Didn't need that much. And if we feel the shadows are too dark, if you feel they're just too black, let me show you another one. Underneath the normal levels sliders are what's called the output levels. And what this allows me to do is select the black and white point. If I feel the blacks are too black, I can just open them up just a little bit. And what that's saying is anything that used to be 100% black has now eight points of light in it. And actually, I think that helps. So let's see the before after of our two adjustments there. There's the before, there's the after, there's the before, there's the after. And I think I want a little more contrast back in the image as well. So let's go to brightness contrast. And add a little contrast in. You can see we can drag this left and right and decide. Okay, and the brightness. All right, so we can look at the difference there. Good, that helps. Levels, we fixed that. Actually, maybe the levels was a little too much. Let's back off on that. And then lastly, color balance. Now, I like the foreground. I don't know that I like what it did to the water. It made the water a little bit too blue. But watch this. Click on the background layer, and we're going to select, which in this case, the waterfall is the subject. And let's go up to color balance. And with that subject selected, we're going to fill the mask of the color balance with black. And you do that with Alt Backspace or Alt Delete. And there it is. In fact, we can do it for all three of these. All right. We so if I click on the mask, you see that's what we've got. But this is only just a mask. So we can deselect that. So now what just happened is... Now we're affecting everything but the water, and now the image looks a lot better. So there's with, and there's before. And again, it's a subtle difference, but these are the color controls that you have in Photoshop that are a lot more powerful and a lot more precise than when you get in Lightroom. And this is one of the things that Photoshop is still better at, I think. So again, there's our before, there's our after, and I like it better. Just wanted to leave the water alone. Now, these were subtle edits. These were subtle changes. Where this really comes in handy is when you have an image that the color is way off and you can just simply not figure it out. And that's where doing a 
color balance adjustment with the midtones, highlights, and shadows can really get the image to where you want, realizing that you may need to paint in and out parts of the image in order to get the color just locally fixed. So again, that got a little more complicated than I planned, but I wanted you to see some of the benefits of using these layer adjustments in Photoshop before sending back in Lightroom. Oh, and by the way, since this was open from Lightroom, if I just hit Command S, it automatically saves it right back in a Lightroom right next to the original. That's it for today. I thank you for joining me. Hope that was something you can put to use. Actually, I know it is. Give it a try when you have an image where the color just isn't quite right and you can't figure out what it needs. This will guide you to it. So thanks for joining me. I wish you a great week. See you soon. Bye.